if you browse with me, it's a combination of side pacing and front and back pacing. hope you all are doing amazing thank you for clicking i do not know when this video will be up i don't know if it will be on my birthday or before or after but the comment section is all yours wish me a happy birthday down there at the comment section say a prayer for me so i'm bored i was looking for something else as always on the internet when i came across a video of custom recruitment academy training academy so i was looking for something else as always when i came across a video of of this gorgeous body of the security agency in Ghana and I just like this video this one <laughs> so this was the video that made me do this video on clicking i decided to go through because see sometimes we see people looking all good and we love what they have we wish for it but we don't know how they got there so i want to put it out here how they got there so that is we are going to check out their training center one of their training centers i think they have more than this one because as you can see in this video that i'll put up this is a new site but this is the one we are working with so let's go to custom training academy the customs division is a paramilitary organization which belongs to the operational division of the ghana revenue authority and forms part of the country's national security architecture <laughs> Stay in the car. Yes, sir. The temperature will be taken. After that, you you go, you go to this side. Then you wash your hands. After washing your hands, in fact, write your name and run. You do what? welcome welcome at this point it's all looking like a dream come true congratulations to all of them that are picked for the training so here is still exciting they just left home and you know oh every member of your family is aware now that you have officially been recruited to join custom service so it is a good thing <laughs> congratulations you have a lot of people to make proud but i don't think they have the whole idea of the real thing which is some of the exercises <laughs> that these guys are doing to look this good <laughs> That in the sweet oh, I am sorry that you call me. I don't feel answer. 
For me, it's their bodies for me, okay? You see that body? The ladies and the men, they look so good. But you see, Lily, I'm too weak for this. I mean, like, how do I do, I, how do, I do this? I mean, these people should be respected. There's another part that I like, and that part is this. Shall we give them a round of applause? Well done, well done, well done, well done. That is nice, this place. That we all this without any command. This tells you that we are wondering if we can work anywhere with little money. Shall we give them a round of applause? This is standard in succession by our graduates. Okay, so that is that for the training, that which is the part that I am interested in. If I'm to join, I'll tell them to please keep me because I am the I am that I am the, the princess of Africa. I should be kept one corner. And then the day of passing out parade, I should come. That is the part I'm interested in. Am I asking for too much? <laughs> okay, let's go and see this part. Papa were laying in bed. Mama and Papa were laying in bed. Mama rolled over and this is what she said. Mama rolled over and this is what she said. Yeah, just in the So stay calm. We have enough trade personnel here to handle all this stuff on the Okay, now I've been deployed to stretch the back. We have searching techniques too. One with leash and off leash. Currently, what you are seeing in display is an off leash display. When a dog is not sure, he pours. This is what we call pouring to ensure whether there's any emission. So he puts pressure on the bag to ensure that emission comes out. It is also believed the hunter, in the quest of hunting, learned the skills of hunting from the coyote. 
foxes and dogs. What we're doing is called casting. It's suspecting it's the scent somewhere. It has made indication, looking at the handler and showing where the tent is. For the purpose of training, the woman has nothing to do with it. It was hidden before she sat down. <laughs> so it is unknown to her. <laughs> the trainer will then inspect, pet that it was sure. But the dog is indicated at a particular place, so it has zoomed or narrowed our search area. They are sometimes very concealed. Our, our smuggling individuals are very discerning. They master the act of hiding and concealment. So the dogs are trained to take the slightest emission, the slightest emission ah. to discover. Apart from Ghana being spiritually peaceful, peacefulness is a spiritual gift. For those that do not believe in all that, they don't believe in that. What are you saying? You give peace, you get peace. You make peace, you get peace. Yes, I know. But trust me, do you know that peace is a spiritual gift and Ghana have that in abundance? I think also, apart from that fact, their security is good. I keep saying this. And I want to believe this is happening because the security agencies are Ghanaians who love their country. Ghanaians who truly, genuinely want to serve their motherland. This is happening because I think the security agencies are people who genuinely love their country. And I would like to know, do you allow a child that is from two countries to be a security agency in Ghana. I'm, I know my daughter is from two nations, right? I don't know if you, do you do that? Do you allow kids that are from inter-marriage, you know, inter-country to join these agencies? Anyways, I would like to know. I used to know someone that is in one of the security services in my country, but he's one of the people that is advocating for a new country. He has this dislike for my country. And some of the times we had conversations, I was so uncomfortable and scared. I mean, someone with a gun, someone with this amount of power that dislike this country is in there. Seriously, peace is a gift, but Ghanaians are giving the peace to themselves as well. And these security men should be appreciated. I'm not done. Okay, let's go back and find whatever we can find. And I will see you guys. like putting it out here and then appreciating them for a good job these guys are looking good i mean look at their bodies eh? their body is a body for me it's how tone everybody looks i know i've talked about this body thing and it has started making some people feel like i have issues with plus size people or with someone with a big tummy no i do not but i, I, I admire it when people can you know walk out and get their bodies to look the way they want it to look just like these guys you know why because see going to the gym takes a lot of discipline it takes a lot of discipline for you to want to just be fit so what i admire the most is not just the tuned body is the fact that for them to get here is the discipline level that they have had to put to get here so if you are plus size i don't have issues against it but seriously i admire these people for their discipline level i hope that we made this clear and thank you for watching this video i'll see you in my next one ciao